In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a quiz in Canvas. The new quiz feature should be activated first. Click the Settings tab in the column on the left-hand side. Click Feature Options. Scroll down to New Quizzes so you can see that the new quiz feature is disabled. Click the red circle to enable the feature. And then you can see that the green circle with the check mark shows that the new quiz feature is enabled. The next thing that you want to do is create a quiz. So you want to select quizzes on the left hand side. Select plus quiz, new quizzes. Choose an assignment name. I'm going to call it syllabus quiz. Points, five points, assignment group. I'm going to put it in the lecture quizzes group. Display grade as points, but you can display it as percentage, letter grade, whatever you'd like. Assign to everyone, and then you can change the due date and the available from and until date. So now I'm going to select Guild. The next thing that I'm going to do is add questions. So I'm going to build the quiz right here. You can also add instructions, specific instructions for the quiz. This quiz is basically an open book quiz, so I can perhaps add that information in the instructions. You can add whatever you want to that area. And now I'm going to add quiz questions. So I have my Word document with my syllabus quiz opened here, and I'm going to copy the entire question and I'm going to click the plus sign to add content. This is going to be a multiple choice question, so I'm going to select multiple choice. I don't usually add a question title, but I do add question stem. So I usually add the entire question with the answers and just copy and paste all of the answers. So the textbook, B, and then C, and D. and then all of the answer choices are correct. Now I want to erase all of the answers. So I'm going to delete all of these answers. So now you can see I just have the question there. And I want to select the answer. The answer is all of the answer choices are correct. So you can show on screen calculator, you can vary points by answer, you can shuffle choices. I don't shuffle choices because all of the answer choices selection would be maybe first or second, and I would like that answer choice to appear as the last answer choice. So points, I would like this quiz to be worth five points, so I'm going to add 10 questions and I want each question to be worth half a point. So I'm just going to change that to 0 0.5 and you can even add notes, student feedback for a correct answer, for an incorrect answer, general feedback. And then I'm going to select done. 
and now you can see the question is there. I'm going to add another question, a true false question. So I want to go back to my template. You will have to participate in group assignments. Once again, I don't need a question title. I'm going to add the question here. And you can you can see here that you can change some things. You can italicize it, make some of the words bold, underlined. You can change the colors. You can change the alignment. So there are several features here. You can even add a link. So if you want students to open a website, maybe with an image, and you want them to tell you what that image means, you can always add a link. You can even add media and um, a table. I only need to do to change the points, and that's it. And I'm going to select done. So that's the true false. I'm going to create one more type of question, and that is going to be a short answer or an essay question. So I'm going to click add content, essay, I don't need a question title, all assignments are due at 11.59 p.m. and I'm going to choose certain number of points or change it to 0 0.5 points and then done. So you can see I have three questions. The next thing that you can do is you can adjust the settings, the quiz settings. So I'm going to adjust the settings here and I'm going to shuffle questions but I don't want to shuffle the answers because some of my answers are none of the above or all of the above. And I would like students to see each answer choice before they choose none of the above or all of the above. So I would like that answer choice to be last. One question at a time. I usually like students to see one question at a time, opposed to seeing all the questions on the screen at once. Time limit, since this is a syllabus quiz, I'm not going to set the time limit, but you can if you'd like to, you would just click this and then you can change it to however many hours or minutes you would like the quiz or exam to be. You can also allow a calculator, you can allow multiple attempts, you can restrict student result view. If you would like the students to see their answers after all of the students have completed the quiz or exam, you can restrict result view. You can also restrict result view all the time so students have to come to your office hours or communicate with you via email to know what the answer choices are or the correct answers are. So you can see here, um, show possible points. You can select whatever you like there. Since this is just a simple syllabus quiz, I do not need to restrict student result view. The next thing that you can do is moderate. So moderate, you moderate when you want to change the settings for one student. Perhaps one student is part of the Disabled Student Center and they receive extra time to take exams and quizzes you would moderate their time using the moderate feature here. So now I'm done with the quiz. Now I'm going to select return. I have saved the quiz. You can see that the syllabus quiz is here. The next thing that I want to do is publish the quiz. I also want to show you something else. You can also adjust the quiz settings so some students can take the quiz or exam at a different time. 
and you give it to all of the students. Perhaps one student maybe had an emergency situation at the time that all of the other students took the quiz. So you want to allow them to take the quiz at a different time. You would select these three circles, click edit. And what you would do is you would just add the student here. So add, and then you can choose the student's name and then choose a particular time and then save that. So you can see now that the syllabus quiz has been created and it's been published. Another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that, just go back to it, the points here, five points, match the points here. So I will add more questions, but just to demonstrate how to create a quiz, I have only added three questions. So I, once I'm done, the quiz will be worth a total of five points. So that is how you create a quiz in Canvas. And this information can also be used to create an exam in Canvas.